Hey everyone, welcome back to another plan with me. This is Halen, also known as Med Student Planner. Today I will be planning out the week of March 29th through April 4th in my Erin Condren Vertical Planner. I'm using a really fun Easter kit from Cricut Paper Co. I actually realized that I needed an Easter kit like a couple weeks out and her shop just ships so fast and I just love this one and so I went for it and it got here in time luckily. So that is the kit that I will be using. I just grabbed the vertical kit with, um, I think just the bottom washi add-on. Really simple and just easy to do a week with. So we'll go ahead and do the day-by-day -day plans. Um, this was going to be my first week on a new rotation. I am doing my OB GYN rotation for the next six weeks. And so this was my first week on it. And I just put that in with a little third box and a Emoji from Coffee Monsters Co. and Scrubs, which I think is super cute. Um, the colors of those emojis were matching perfectly, and so I will pull those in um, several times throughout this week. And to start off a new rotation, we always have a little orientation, and so I put that in with another emoji. I thought this was just like super cute to pull them with a backpack, and the pink matched and everything. And so um, I then went on to mark what I was doing for this day. We had a tour at the new hospital that we were going to be at, and then I am starting on the GYN surgery, and so we had surgery until about 2.30 this day. Not bad to start the day off with, and I was trying a different permanent marker this week with the sticker since they're vinyl, and it ended up being way thicker than what I was used to, and so I, I'm not really sure if I like it or not, but at this point, I'd already started using it, and so I was just going for it, and it was that pilot pen that you are seeing. So then after I got back from surgery and everything, we came home and I ended up getting our wedding video back this day. And so I have this cute little dancing um, munchkins from Once More With Love. I thought that was just a fun way to mark it since that's what a lot of the video is, is just fun and dancing and whatnot. And then I just am putting in this little um, checklist quarter box to mark that I needed to start signing up for our next board exam and so I just put in all the registration info for that. I was having some difficulty. I knew it wasn't going to fit all of it in and so I just kind of shortened it down and that's not normally how I like to do it but it'll work for this. I know what I'm talking about there. And then I'm not sure what happened here but it, you got cut off for a second but I'm just marking in that we were watching Ted Lasso this night. It's been a really fun show to watch. It's like short episodes, super cute. It's on the Apple TV Plus or something like that and it is a cute little show highly recommend and for dinner this night we had jimmy john's and so i just have a little um winston from nine and go paper Co. to mark that moving on to tuesday we had a really short surgery day this day um we finished up like 10 a.m um, i have another little emoji there um, one of our attendings was out of town another one was on maternity leave and there was just one attending covering the or and so we had three cases scheduled, but then one patient ended up having COVID and then another um, canceled or didn't show or something happened. And so we only ended up having one case this day, which was super nice. So I had the afternoon to go and get my new driver's license. Um, it ended up taking literally all day and it was a long, miserable day of talking to a lot of people and dealing with stuff. Um, and so I just have a little post-it flag with a Winston holding a Polaroid because I thought it was a cute way since you're getting your picture taken and then I put in one of these little crazy Winstons to mark that it was such a crazy day. I just it took from about noon to four o'clock to get this driver's license and I'm very glad that I got it and got it taken care of but it was a long day. Um, this night we got to meet one of my friends I was in town at Buffalo Wild Wings to just kind of have some dinner and catch up while she was here so that was really nice. I have a yay Winston to mark that because I need more, I need more like friend character stickers, kind of like my couple ones. Um, and then I have this little quarter box to mark that now that I have my new driver's license, I commit, I could submit my new name to our like board certification people. I just kind of shorten it down to, I was going to put name change, but then I ran out of room. And so I kind of know what I'm talking about there. Um, and then I just have this cute little munchkin couple watching TV to mark that we watched more Ted Lasso this night. 
for Wednesday, we had a long surgery day. We were there until 4.30. And so I have this um, emoji that was just super cute in like the surgeon gear. And then I put in a Virgo and paper script to mark tidying up this day because we were going out of town this weekend and we just had a lot of like laundry and other things to kind of get together. And then I had this little clipboard to mark doing our surgery evaluations, um, kind of wrapping up some stuff from our last rotation. And then we had a fun little spaghetti night this night. And so I put that in with a fun little doodle quarter box, which those are so hard to lay down straight. And so I kept kind of playing around with that after I finished this to make sure that it was perfect. Um, and then a laundry day script from Piper Paper Company and more Ted Lasso this night. So I'm just going in quickly to white out all these lines. I I just like to get it all over with once now. It makes it easier and then I don't have to worry about it anymore. So on Thursday, I got out a little bit early from a surgery and only went until about 12. I'm going to put in a little Dr. Winston to mark my time there. I couldn't really find an orange character sticker that matched this day's color. And so this one is always a good go-to sticker to use. We had a little um, simulation thing that our group was doing as part of it probably should have been done during the orientation, but it was done this day where we got to like see a um, kind of mannequin little fake thing deliver a baby and kind of figure out what we needed to do and then worked on our suturing techniques. And then once I got home, I had an interview for a scholarship that I've been applying for. And so super nervous about that and I'm really glad that it went well. And now I just have to wait until August to find out the results of that. Uh, I put in a little emoji with the little star eyes since it ended up going well. Then we met our families to eat at Cantina Laredo. I'm not sure if that's a chain or not, but it is one of our local Mexican restaurants that we enjoy. And so I just put that in with a little Winston. And then we were leaving the next day to go to Austin. And so I put in this packing Winston to mark that we had a lot of packing and planning to do for the trip. And since we were going to be gone for the weekend, we we took our pet Benji out to my grandparents' house so that he could stay out of the farm with them for the weekend. And I have this cute little emoji that's dressed up in a onesie with, um, that's like a rabbit onesie. <laughs> that was just super perfect for marking this. And we just kind of came home and finished up packing. And I didn't really have a ton of room to pull in anything, and so I just kind of put a little check to mark that we finished doing this, and I put a finished packing. So Friday was our big day going out to Austin, and so I just put in a half box to mark that we were driving most of the day over there. It's about a five, five and a half hour drive for us from where we live, and so it's not too bad, um, and you know, we get to make some fun stops along the way and whatnot. So just putting in a half box with a little car, Winston, um, to mark driving out there. I could not get this box straight at all. And it's finally, it's finally okay. Then I have a really cute no school script from Hand Can Plan and I pulled that in. I love that the pink, it's not the perfect match, but it really goes well. And I thought that was a fun to pull in. Then our first stop was at a Bucky's, which was kind of a madhouse, but we just kind of went in, got what we needed, and then ran away really quick. And so I have a little yay Winston because it's always a fun little place, just a crazy place. So then I, after that, we came in to the north of Austin, so we stopped at the Domain. And of course, I had to go by the Erin Condren store, and I didn't really get a lot this time. I was kind of more just looking. I was hoping they were going to have some more like sneak peek products out, but they did not. So I just grabbed a blanket that was on sale and some new mask, and we just kind of shopped around the domain after that. And it's a really cool place. We realized that it's way bigger than what we initially thought, so we'll have to go back and check out other parts of it. This night, we met a couple friends out for dinner. <laughs> I have not gotten to use this emoji before, but it is like a cute little dressed up one. She has a little flower in her hair and everything. It's just super cute, and it's in a pink dress, so I had to use it for this day. <laughs> I just love how that turned out. Um, and so then on Saturday, we started the day by going to have brunch at one of my favorite places in Austin, and it's Curvy Lane. 
And after that, we went and tried different local coffee shops. We went to one that I now don't remember the name of. And then I decided to also stop by this Joe's Coffee Place. It's in South Congress. And it was just so good. I have this little Winston that's like sitting in the coffee because that's usually how I feel after it's been a couple of days without coffee. And I just needed some good coffee. <laughs> So then we just kind of stayed around the South Congress area and shopped and walked and just kind of looked around and enjoyed the afternoon. So I have this little munchkin couple just kind of hanging out to mark that. And then we went out to this place called The Yard. It has like a winery, a distillery. Um, there's food trucks, like all sorts of things. And so we hung out there for most of the like early evening and so I'm just putting in this little doodle quarter box which once again can I get these straight they're just they're so different but I do like how they look and they add a fun element to the spread so I had to pull it in but I just put that we were hanging out at the yard and then I'm going to put in a half box at the bottom to kind of separate the boxes a little bit but we actually did dinner and then we went to get ice cream but I'm going to put it the opposite way just because it looks a little bit better so I have this munchkin couple out on a date night and I was marking our dinner and then I'm going to pull in a Winston eating a big bowl of ice cream <laughs> to mark going to grab some Amy's ice cream, which was a super fun treat. We don't always go out to get dessert and so that was fun to do on vacation. So then moving on to Sunday, we started the day a little bit later this day and we went to lunch at um, one of our favorite barbecue places. It's called La Barbecue. It is probably one of the like top three most popular places in Austin for barbecue. And so we ended up being there for a couple of hours waiting for food and whatnot, but it ends up being so worth it. I kind of messed up how I wanted to write this. I was going to do the ad in La together, but just blanked and put the ad in the middle. And so I don't really love how that box turned out, but I didn't have another one, so I just I just left it, and it's fine. I just won't look <laughs> up there anymore. We went and hiked up a really cool spot. I'm going to actually put a picture in because it was just so pretty up there. It's They claim it's the highest point in Austin, and so we got a view of the city from up above, and then we also got a really cool like lake and house on the hill view, and so I'm just going to show you quickly what we saw. It was super fun, and then we went over to... A little brewery place called Easy Tiger and then of course we had to rent some scooters while we were in Austin it's one of our favorite little activities to do that's just like on the side and so I have this little quarter box to mark that and then we grabbed some pizza for dinner this night I have another one of those little post-its to mark going to home slice and then I have a Winston holding a slice of pizza that just looks very happy and that's how we were it was some good pizza i had added some holiday scripts from virgo and paper i have the good friday and easter sunday one that were just already in there um, so i thought i would go ahead and tell you where those were from in case you were wondering and then the only other thing i had to put in was that i wrote that we just had a lazy night at our hotel we're kind of exhausted at this point we don't always get to go on trips for this long with how school works and everything and so we just kind of hung out at the hotel and watched a movie and enjoyed our company so that is everything for this spread i really love how this week turned out it is just some really fun spring colors and just really fun artwork um, and we had such a good weekend in austin that i just had to share with y'all so thank you so much for watching be sure to like and subscribe down below and i'll see you in my next video bye everyone